One of the other things that you might want to set up to improve the syncing of data from your desktop to the cloud or to a Trimble Connect project, you can use the Trimble Connect Sync app. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You can see this app is running. Um, it's, it'll be an icon on your desktop that you can run and you can click on sync or you know go to advance and you'll see where it's actually stored on my local hard drive. So if I look at you know, Windows Explorer and I look under this path the, where it's set up, you can see these are all the projects that I have on Connect that have been synchronized locally to my desktop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Trimble Connect over to the uh, icon over here next to your user profile. We're gonna click on that and you can see that there's download connect apps. I'm gonna click there and it's gonna take me to the, basically the store where these apps are. So there's a lot of other apps and we'll, we'll open those up, but here's one for your mobile device. So you can have um, the same projects on a, a mobile device, um, whether you're using Apple or Google. Um, there's connect for windows. It's another, you know, desktop tool. Um, but this Connect Trimble Connect Sync is the one that is going to allow you to really synchronize your data back and forth. So it, it creates that other app. So you'll download the version you need. So I downloaded the 64-bit, or if you're using Mac, you can do that. You'll see there's some other ones, some mixed reality um, that you would have to buy from Microsoft. Um, here is a Connect for Revit and a Connect Visualizer. So Basically, you're, you would have these different apps to uh, interface with Trimble Connect. But once you download this, I'll go back to my projects here. So just click back on uh, the, the tile palette uh, icon there, and it takes me back to my projects. But what will happen is if we take a look at this sync, all right, if you go into the settings, there's some settings here, so you can set this to a, you know, a proxy server if you want, but if you look at sync, this is the default path for the folder location, all right? So what this will do is if you save a file to this folder and then synchronize, it'll upload it to the cloud project versus dragging and dropping it into the, the project. So an example might be you're working in, say, an Autodesk product called you know, maybe Civil 3D. You can save those drawings to that particular folder on your desktop, right? So here's my uh, example, this chesty oil. You can see there are these drawings here, and I've got these AutoCAD drawings. So if I drag a file in here or create a new file, so let's just say you know, I create a new uh, maybe a new folder, right? So we'll just call it test. And I make that folder here. It's on that Trimble Sync. So if I synchronize this, you can see there's that test folder. And I again, it's an upload, so it's actually going to upload it. The configuration that's in there is going to be downloaded. You can see this one's you know going to get downloaded as well. So if I synchronize this, it's syncing it. And now if I go to the project and I look under DWG, right? There's the configure, oops, sorry. So if I look under this DWG folder, there's that test folder that I just created, okay? So if I was to click on this and delete it, and I'll do that. And I can synchronize. If I go back, um, if I open up that Trimble Sync here, and we just go ahead and sync, it's being removed. I sync now. And now, if you take a look on my Windows Explorer, that file is gone, All right? So, what I'm doing here is I'm being able to synchronize stuff locally on my desktop 
that gets synced with data in the cloud. So somebody else who has this on their desktop, maybe in another folder location, they're going to be able to get those changes, new files using this Trimble Connect Sync app on your desktop. So it just kind of keeps your stuff locally so that you can work on it in whatever application you need, whether it's an X spreadsheet or Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, whatever, right? You may have to download it if it's on Google, but um, if it's on your desktop stored in those folder structure on your, you know, maybe you have an external hard drive where you're storing this or on a network drive, you'll be able to sync to your Trimble Connect project. And I'll get in a little deeper here, a little bit more workflow showing you taking data from, let's say, Civil 3D, sending it to Connect, connect into Business Center, and then sending out to a device in the field, right? So you're able to communicate and use this data without having to email it or attach it to a Google Drive somewhere or, you know, OneDrive, something like that. You can use Connect to really share this data back and forth.